What's up, everybody? It's uh, Grim, and I'm here to do a quick video. Hopefully, it's going to be quick. I'm, I might go on a rant here because this is a subject that I kind of want to talk about, but I haven't been talking about lately. I haven't been making videos for basketball. Okay. Where we're at right now is a, uh, and we're going to end up 10 and 20. 2-14 and 14 in the conference. Worst conference record ever, by the way. Very very nice job there, boys. And here's what I'm here to talk about. I don't, first of all, I don't blame this on the players. The players are out there showing all they got. We lost by 20 to Kentucky, and the players are still out there playing their hearts off. That's not where I'm going here. I'm here making this video because the Darren Horn era is over. Now, I'll be the first person to say that I don't agree with firing a coach quickly. I'm not a good quick coach type of guy. But Darren Horn is so wrong for this team. He's so bad as a coach. Let me let me just in this video I'm gonna explain why Darren Horn needs to be let go now. And I know that's a two point four million dollar buyout, but I don't give a shit because it's not worth it. Having him another year is not worth it. We got Darren Horn after uh you know, we let go of uh you know, of uh Odom. Um, Dave Odom, in my opinion, was a good coach. I don't, we fans did not like him; they hated him really. But he got us two NIT victories. We were looking for, and he resigned. We were looking for a coach to go past the NIT, to go to the NCAA tournament, to be that type of team. After winning back-to-back -back NITs, in comes Darren Horn. Darren Horn, good success at West Kentucky, Western Kentucky, uh, NCAA Sweet 16 bid. Uh, that's that's all fine and good. That's awesome, okay? But let me get to the point of why Darren... The, the Darren Horn era has gone so bad that I'm disgusted we still keep him around. Considering that we, we fired coaches that showed way more promise than him. Uh, quick name that comes to mind would be like a uh, Steve Newton. We Steve Newton had two terrible seasons. We had no problem letting him go instantly. Darren Horn, in case you didn't know, first season, 21 and 10. First round of the NIT, we lost. That's okay. That was off Dave Odom's players, though, okay? Let me, let me just explain. We go from a 21 and 10, second place in the East season, to 15 and 16, to 14 and 16, to 10 and 21 this year. 10 and 21. I mean, shit. Look at what he's done over the seasons he's been here. Murphy Hallway transferred here from Ole Miss. Came here from Ole Miss. Darren Horn scared him so bad, he went back to the place he transferred from. That is that is just mind-blowing. Um, I mean, he... Jesus. Let's, let's not forget what he did to, uh... To, uh, Morrow. To, uh, Darius Morrow. Um, first season, the kid averaged 9.7 games freshman year, okay? He goes to him, he goes to this kid, and says, the kid's over at ECU now, but he goes to the kid and says, look, you can't work under my system. He doesn't tell him, if you play harder, you have a chance of starting, but right now you're going to be on the bench. He tells him he is never going to see playing time. Kid goes to ECU, averages a double-double his whole career there. <laughs> what the fuck type of coach goes to a player and says, you're not playing? But let, let, me, let, me, let, me just, let me just throw some more numbers at you. This year, we are about 300th or worse in every stat down the board. We don't run plays. There's a, it's, 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 if you literally go to one of these games, it is atrocious how little ball movement, how little pass, there are no offensive plays being done. No offensive sets being, for, no formations being set up, nothing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you, honestly, if you guys, I, I anyone that saw the uh, Mississippi State overtime loss, I just got to tip my hat to you, because you saw exactly what I'm about to describe. There was no one on the inbound man. With 2.7 seconds left to go. No one on the inbound man. Just. 
wide open pass, wide open bucket. I mean, it is he the Darren Horn error has been so bad for our basketball program. It's just ridiculous. Yet we still keep him. This is the type of shit I don't understand. We were at, we were a team that was winning the NIT every year under Odom. The fans d hated Odom. I, I, th th whatever. That's fine. I, I supported him, but that's fine. And this is the guy. Darren Horn is not the guy to take us anywhere. He's the guy that has been just draining the life out of this basketball program. It's disgusting. I mean... Here's question. Look at the 2009 season when when everyone thought we were going to be okay again. Started off six and one, and that's when this that's when this team really turned around. When this this whole year really turned around for us, okay? Because after that six and one season, we <sighs> we just died. Start off six and one, end up fifteen and fifteen. I'm sorry, end up fifteen and sixteen. Forgot, forgot the SEC uh, tournament loss. That's my bad. I mean, bring in the tenth ranked recruiting class in the nation by Scouts.com, and this is what we're getting out of them. This is the tenth recruiting class in the nation, and we're we're getting a. 10 and 21, probably 10 and 21, because we're probably going to lose to Alabama. I'm not even going to... It's just disgusting. I mean, it is literally just disgusting. I... I don't know why we're keeping him. That's why I don't make basketball bids, because I don't, I don't support the coaching staff, because the coaching staff is atrocious. I'll support those players every day of the week because they give their hearts. I mean, they are out there playing, playing their hearts out. I mean, that that that. I remember being uh, being at the uh, at the Kentucky game on the fourth of February, down by thirty points, and those players are still running around giving it all. Those players deserve a hell of a lot more than Darren Horn is giving them. Darren Horn's not even the type of coach that can. That talks to the media and does these things with the fans. He's not even a good coach for the fans. He hates the fans. He hates the coaching staff. I mean, the media. Why? Because they're negative of him. You know why they're negative of you? Because you miss interviews, which is unprofessional. They pay you money, and then you miss the interviews. You can't handle criticism. You ignore fans. You're not, not only are you the, not the right guy for this job, you're not the right guy for any job. Maybe Western Kentucky, where the fans will hail you no matter what you do because the expectations are this. They're like, they're like this. There are no expectations. But, at the level that South Carolina was at when you came in, I mean, good God. And then, after, <laughs> this is what I love. After we hire you, you try to use a position that Xavier is sort of offering you as leverage to get this fucking buyout, which is why you're still fucking there, because it costs 2.4 fucking million dollars to keep you around. Look, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a half, half glass full type of guy. I was a... <laughs> I was the guy that was always supporting Garcia. I was the guy that 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 pretty much will support anything. I'm a John Fox guy back when he was with Carolina. I'm a Jake DeLone guy when he was with Carolina. I thought it was atrocious what the Panthers did to Carolina. I mean, did to uh, what the Panthers fans did to Jake DeLone. Darren Horn is so fucking bad as a head coach. It just blows my mind that we still keep him around, and he's still going to be there next year. I don't. He'll be there for one more year. If he is, I'll have the exact same attitude towards the basketball team that I did that this year. I don't give a shit. I'll go to the games, but <laughs> I'm not going to get here on here week in and week out and try to paint and, and make videos bashing this team because that's what I would end up doing.
Because Darren Horn, to me, is such a bad coach that I would never, never have anything positive to say. I, <laughs> Jesus. I mean, <laughs> it's just horrible. And that's just the truth. That's why I don't make videos for the, uh, for the basketball team. Because I couldn't sit here every week and bash this team. I'd feel bad about it. I'd feel horrible. And this is after representing the Panthers in a lot of other forms, like, all the damn time. Through their worst season ever. I mean... I still go and... I mean, that after the, not this season, but the last season, I was, I was always... I was the guy that was calling into radio shows defending the Panthers at that point. Defending John Fox. Defending everything. And this is how I react towards Darren Horn. You see what I'm saying here? It takes a lot to get me to be this... To, 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 as a fan, despise you as much as I despise Darren Horn. He is the opposite of what this team needs. But keep him around. Fuck it. Don't want to pay that $2.4 million buyout, even though his contract is gonna would make more than that. Whatever. Honestly, he is not the right guy to take this team, or any team, anywhere. I mean, and the, and the worst thing is, this whole time, this whole time, Andy Kennedy, over at Ole Miss, has averaged 20 wins, wins a season, and has never had a losing season. And they have subpar recruiting, subpar facilities, they pay him a hell of a lot less than we pay uh, Horn. I mean, I think this will be the first time, this will be the first time, depending on what they do in the tournament, that they end up, uh, that they end up being uh, less than 500. I mean, they're less than 20 wins this season. Because then they're at 18 and 12 right now. They'd have to win uh, two games in the tournament to end up over 20 wins. But that's very possible because they're not a bad team. They are not. They don't score many points, but they have a very solid defense. But all I'm saying is, it's atrocious what Darren Horn has done to this team. Oh well. I mean, that's pretty much all I want to say because I. I've rambled on way too long. I mean, AK Brown's right. I'm I make very long videos. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it's it's sort of my style. I like to give you a lot of detail, a lot of stuff. And if you stuck through with this, I'm glad. Thank you. But I don't like being negative. I don't like being that guy, that type of fan ever. And that's how I feel about the basketball team always. As long as Darren Horn's there, that's just. That's why I don't make videos. That's why I don't make many videos. It's because I don't want to come on here every every single week and be just the most negative person ever because that's how I feel. So, uh, thanks for watching. I know it was a marathon. I wanted it to be a little shorter, a lot shorter, but I, had, I went on a huge rant there. So, until next time, this is Graham saying peace.